Here we can see a question where we are given the two roots, x is equal to negative 3 and x is equal to 1, and we're given another point, the point negative 2, comma 6, which means we can use this way of expressing a quadratic function. There we go. And since we already have the two roots, we can substitute it in there. So we have x minus minus 3. That gives me plus 3. x plus 3. And then we also have x minus root 2, which is, our, uh, which is 1. x minus 1. Okay. And now we still just need to go and find for a. So we can find a. He's the last parameter left to solve, which means we solve it by substituting any point. And the point we can substitute is y is equal to 6 when x is equal to negative 2. So we replace x with negative 2. And then we find that a negative 2 times um, plus 3, positive 1. And negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. So positive 1 times negative 3 gives me negative 3, which means that a must equal negative 2. And there we go. So if we had to express it as ax squared plus bx plus c, we would say that negative 2x, let me just multiply this out. So we get x squared minus uh, plus 3x minus 1 is plus 2x. Uh, negative uh, 3 minus 1 times negative 1 is mm, negative 3. And we just multiply it out. And then we find negative 2x squared minus 4x positive 6. There we go.